Hi. Uh, <coughs> good afternoon, everyone. My name is Taisuke Boko from University of Tsukuba. And uh, actually, the JCHPC is not the name of the university. I, I will show later. So uh, thank you very much for uh, giving, us, giving me uh, the, the opportunity to introduce our brand new machine. And I believe that this is the first presentation, actually, after we got uh, uh, the brand new uh, the Limpac benchmark result in this morning. So I'm very uh, happy now that because in our machine here, Oak Forest Pax, that, uh, that became the Japan's new number one machine, uh, as long as, uh, uh, as well as that, uh, number six in the world, but then we are currently, thank you very much. So the finally, after five years, and finally we over, uh, outperformed the impact performance of the K-computer. So today's my talk is not so deep inside about the technology, but then I just briefly introduce our system, and especially focusing on the, what is the goodness of our file I.O. system. So at uh, first, then I'd like to briefly introduce uh, the current situation of the Japanese university supercomputers. So, in Japan, of course, still the K computer is a really big one, but then, and also there are nine national universities who has uh, their own supercomputer centers shown here, and uh, we are here. Uh, th this list is not on the order of the uh, big, uh, size or something. It's just from the north to south to avoid any com uh, conflict or fighting. So, you know, so the north north part is a Hokkaido University, and the south one is a Kyushu University. And here, uh, there are three national universities in the Tokyo area. And one is at the University of Tokyo, and also another one is not exactly in the Tokyo, but very close to the Tsukuba city. And uh, so, that so far, all these nine universities are introducing the, their own supercomputers individually. But from three years ago, we decided to join some budget of the two universities, Tsukuba and Tokyo, to make a really big machine, the larger one, uh, the biggest one in the, out of the all nine universities. And actually, so we built the biggest machine in, the, in, in Japan now. So this uh, yellow part is uh, corresponding to the, our new machine. But beside of this new joint machine, the both the uh, University of Tokyo and the University of Tsukuba still continue to uh, keep the, our own machine uh, individually. So the Oak Forest Pax is a machine name, and that is a fully joint machine of two universities. OK, so the, before that, um, uh, the int int introducing a machine, uh, first I'd like to say that about uh, the JCA HPC. So JCA HPC is a sort of the virtual organization, which stands for the Joint Center for Advanced HPC. So uh, before that, uh, there are another uh, project about 80 years ago. There are so-called post-T2K. Maybe uh, most of them, you are not familiar to that name, but then T2K stands for the Tsukuba, Tokyo, and Kyoto. So three universities share the same specification of the introducing the big PC clusters. But uh, this time, uh, Tsukuba and Tokyo uh, decided to jo make a real joint machine, not just a common specification. So there, there is no Kyoto, but uh, we, we don't fight. OK, so there, don't, 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 don't misunderstanding. That the just an uh, procurement time is uh, something different in this time. So Tsukuba and Tokyo uh, agreed to share one big machine. So that, that, but to operate everything smoothly, we need some organization. So JCHPC is a virtual organization operated by the two universities, Tsukuba and Tokyo. So anyway, uh, merging that big two of the budget, of course, we can get the largest budget as a national university to procure the big machine of the supercomputer as a single shared system. And also, uh, their budget is, of course, the largest scale in Japan, besides the K-computer. So K-computer is a national project. And we are just a uh, customer of the supercomputers. But um, uh, anyway, this is the uh, largest in the, any other uh, the national supercomputer centers. So finally, JCHPC is, was established about three years ago uh, under the cooperation of the Center for Computation, Computational Sciences of the University of Tsukuba, where I'm the deputy director now, and also the Information Technology Center of the University of Tokyo. So there are history, but I just like to skip. But then I like to show my uh, uh, the respect to the first director and the uh, vice uh, deputy director who are 
Mitsushita Sato and also Yutaka Ishikawa. But uh, both of them are now working in the Riken for the Postal K computer project. So they're on the second generation, now the, uh, uh, the director of the uh, ITC University of Tokyo, Hiroshi Nakamura, and uh, our director, our university, Tsukuba's CCS, uh, uh, the uh, Masayuki Memura are the director and the uh, deputy director, uh, vice director of the uh, second generation of JCHPC. And uh, I like to say that, that this is a really first challenge trial in the, in the history of the Japanese university supercomputer to merge uh, the two budgets of the two universities to get the one big system. So this is a really challengeable one and uh, our ministry also uh, strongly push this challenge. Well, the, the, our procurement policy of the JCHPC shared machine is very simple. So we don't introduce no accelerator, and uh, this is, must be the really large scale uh, state, uh, latest technology of the PC cluster, and has a really high bandwidth of the, uh, and, and efficient interconnection. And most, uh, most importantly here, that we need to have a really strong file system as a shared file system. So we made a procurement uh, specification with about to, taking about one year, and finally it's uh, specified, and uh, there are several uh, competitions, of course, and finally the Fujitsu got the uh, award of our system. So that, that means that the Fujitsu now uh, providing the number one and the number two machines in Japan. So uh, we named this machine to the Oak Forest Pax, or OFP for short. By the way, if you Google the OFP, maybe you see that some very famous game name that, that is Operation Flashpoint or something. So there are still the, our OFP is not on the Google, so my dream is that uh, you get the number one hit on the Google of the, this machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I think this is the first presentation to show this machine's picture. This is a real picture, just un unveiled today, in this morning, after 7 o'clock, when the, the top 500 new list is updated. So here's um, some uh, very interesting uh, background and the Oak Forest Park's name here. And uh, so, uh, please remember that this is a Japanese new uh, fastest supercomputer. And this is a picture of the single node. So node is uh, just a compact this size. Please visit our booth later. Uh, on the uh, gala opening, so we will show the real model of the node. It is quite simple, just this size. Has a one socket of the KNL and uh, six channel of the DDR4 memory, and also uh, Intel Omnipass architecture here. And in this 2U uh, regular size of the uh, regular size uh, chassis, we contain the eight nodes, so it's quite compact. So one node uh, consumes only 0.5 U size here. So it's quite um, simple and very effective for the space. You know that the Japanese round is very narrow and we need a really high compact system. <laughs> so this is the main specification of the Oak Forest Park system. So we have in total 8,208 nodes. Uh, each of no node has a, a, the single socket of the Intel Knight's landing with uh, about the three teraflops for 68 cores. And the peak performance is 25 petaflops. And uh, finally, we will got 13.55 petaflops of the Limpac benchmark. And uh, uh, by the way, so this is just 0.5 petaflops lower than the number five Cori system of the NASC. So Cori system also uh, employs the uh, same KNL, same chip, so uh, we need just 0.5 petaflops more. But anyway, we are happy to be uh, the number six now. And uh, there are, uh, we uh, employed more than 550,000 of cores, or about uh, more than 8,000 of nodes to measure the LIMPAC. And this is a uh, uh, Fujitsu's brand new, very compact, KNL ready uh, motherboard and chassis. Uh, uh, as I told you, so we introduced uh, Intel OmniPass. So this is a new challenge. I think this is almost uh, the largest Intel OmniPass uh, full bisection bandwidth SPAT3 system in the world. And uh, uh, the, the, it is a little bit um, related to also the DDN issues. I will talk later. And we have uh, 20 of the uh, login nodes. 
And here is an I.O. system. Maybe the, it is most, more important here. So we have a raster file system of the, based, on the, uh, based on the DDN, SFA, and 7700X, the brand new uh, the, uh, file system. And uh, we run the 26.2 petabyte of the raster file system here. And also, uh, uh, the most, mo most importantly, we also introduced uh, IME, the burst buffer file system, uh, sorry, file cache system by, by DDN with the DDN IME 14K system. So it is about uh, almost one petabyte, 960 terabyte of the capacity based on the NVMe SSD, of course. And we had a more than 1.5 terabyte per second of the very high bandwidth, theoretical peak of the uh, IO bandwidth with the IME. So this picture uh, schematically shows that uh, network of the uh, Omnipass uh, of the Intel. So we introduced uh, 12 of the 768 ports of the director switch plus 362 of the 48 port edge switch. So I think maybe at 11 or 12 edge switches are dedicated to the connect the IME and uh, uh, Lasta fire system. So in total, we need uh, 64 ports for the IME, and uh, sorry, Lasta, and uh, 200 ports for the IME. So it shows that uh, how the uh, high bandwidth is also required for the network to connect 1.5 terabyte per second of the IO fire system uh, speed. So this is uh, just a schematic view of the users. So here, we are basically using the uh, staging to utilize uh, IME efficiently. So most of the files are still exist on the last file system with the 26 petabyte. But some limited user can access to the IME with the pre-staging uh, for the, uh, bind to the scheduler. And they can, uh, they can utilize, uh, they can enjoy the 1.5 terabyte per second of the peak performance, still have uh, one petabyte of the IME. So that is a user's view. And uh, there are just the login node is decided, divided into the University of Tokyo's one and the University of Tsukuba one. But we don't divide any compute node. We share perfectly. Only we uh, divide the system based on the CPU time only. So we can run the 8,000 node full system, uh, sorry, full size of the job on each, either, each universities. And uh, maybe I can skip this one at the button. Uh, total power consumption is 4.2 megawatt, including the cooling. So cooling for the CPU is a direct one to the socket, and also we have a back door, uh, back, back panel uh, cooling by the uh, uh, liquid cooling. So it is very compact and also very uh, power efficient system. And uh, I think it's not the, it's not the, uh, announced um, officially, but um, just, just by the LIMPAC benchmark result, I think maybe this is a number six in the green 500. So there is um, some very high uh, power efficiency. And uh, software, I can, I can skip that uh, totally. So file I.O. of the Oak Forest system. So we have a basic shared file system based on the last of file system, the class of file system with 500 gigabyte per second of the very high bandwidth for shared file system. And since our network is a perfect factory, uh, factory network with a full bisection bandwidth, so any node combination can enjoy their, this high bandwidth. So it is quite important to have the very high flexibility for the node allocation for the various size of the jobs on the, such a big clusters. And secondly, the IME, the burst buffer technology. So I think this is a, one of the world's largest size of the IME uh, is run, running now with 1.5 terabyte per second uh, of the uh, peak performance. And uh, many of the, our users, target users, uh, uh, require a really high IO bandwidth, something like an um, astrophysicist or a climate and something else. And also, uh, this uh, staging is uh, perfectly joined with uh, a job scheduler, which is especially uh, divided, uh, developed for the uh, pre-scheduling uh, pre of the uh, IME issues. So I, we believe that uh, we can uh, very effectively use uh, IME uh, according to the user's request for their uh, I.O. And this chart is just uh, simply uh, uh, compar comp compare the 
uh, how the, this system is compact. So there are several systems like a K computer or Oak Ridge Spider 2, and also Blue Waters and the brand new our Oak Forest Parks. So that in the Oak Forest Parks, I just show the IME part. This is not the luster. This is IME. And to achieve 1.5 terabyte per second of the peak performance, we use only 2.5 racks to with a very compact NVMe SSD, and uh, it provides uh, uh, so the 1.5. So I'm sorry, but um, the system's measurement is still undergoing, so I cannot officially show the real performance. But I just heard that um, it easily overcomes one terabyte per second on the sustained performance of the IME, so it's quite fast. And also, it is not just for the parallel file, but also this speed is, speed is achievable by the uh, shared, uh, single shared file. That is very important. So it, maybe it's only available for the SSD technology or IME technology. So finally, I'd like to show that the, the location. So the, fortunately, University of Tokyo has a really good space and a good facility for the electricity. So we decided to use the University of Tokyo's campus. The, there is a third campus named Kashiwa. And the Kashiwa campus uh, has a good uh, computer room. So the, the Oak Forest Parks is now running on the Kashiwa campus. But fortunately, you, uh, you're, if you are familiar to the Tokyo area, this is the Tokyo metropolitan area. And here is the uh, uh, headquarter of the University of Tokyo. Here is the headquarter of the University of Tsukuba. And the Kashiwa is exactly in between. So there, actually, there is a very good highway. So there, and usually, we use a car driving with just 30 minutes, while the University of Tokyo people take about one hour by the train. So that's goodness for our university. OK, so there, uh, I also skipped the system operation outline. But then we have several modes of the operation, regular mode and a special occasion, like uh, a Golden Bear Challenge or something, or in the summertime, power saving operation. But in any, any style of the uh, operation, always the uh, IME and the last of five system works perfectly. OK, so I'd like to summarize uh, my talk. So we, I'm happy to introduce uh, our new system, Oak Forest Pax, the new Japanese fastest uh, supercomputer, uh, which ranked in this morning. And uh, we achieved that 13.55 petaflops of the impact. And uh, absolutely, this is the uh, fastest machine in Japan. And uh, we will start the official operation from the next April. But from December, we will start the full-size operation and mainly for the very dedicated program and uh, just open use or a test bed for the KNL system and the OmniPass and the IME. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.